everybody, this is Crossover Vegas. I'm the captain here and I got them, sir. Hi. And today we have right in front of us the the new clan booster for Gear Chronicle. This is CB04, GCB04, <laughs> for Gear <laughs> of Fate. I already mentioned it's for Gear Chronicle already, so damn it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what can you expect in this uh, box? Gear Chronicles and Gear Chronicles and Gear Chronicles and Gear Chronicles and Gear Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to make that as a t-shirt. <laughs> Gear Chronicle, okay, yeah. Alright, All right, so um, in case Cap forgot about it, the Japanese name is Ume no Gia. But, um... I Gear of Fate, so. Yeah, yeah the Gear of Fate, that's what I said. <laughs> Technically it's Destiny, but... Uh, uh, give or take, uh, yeah. it's semantics. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's just look at the cover right now, so yep. as we can see right here. So, um, you can see the one of the Ace Stripes for the Zodiac Time Beast. Uh, which is um, the, the Dose X market? Oh, the other one, okay. Dose yeah. X Machina. Demirge. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and then you see um, um, Yuzu. Kid Ryuzu, Miyojin, and, and Shindo Chrono as the front down there because they are the two users of Gear Chronicle. <coughs> and this is the box that, that that's for them. So. Mm -hmm. Alright, so in front here, again, 5th anniversary, Venga G. It's in a nice, like, metallic um, kind of yep. um, gradient, which is mm -hmm. nice. And then on the side here, Gear Chronicle. Um, secret SP. Yep, you you can get an SP pack here. The, um, the, ah yes. And in this clan booster, there are two different types of SP packs. Uh, one for Chrono Jet Dragon and another for Gu Chrono Fang Tiger. Mm -hmm. So depending on your luck, you may just get one of those. And hoping by luck, we actually open it up here. So just. I think that's the aim we're doing right now with these unboxings. Alright, we're not so, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, um, so this whole box contains 12 packs, and each pack contains 7 cards with 2 uh, of single rare and above. Mm -hmm. And uh, since I haven't mentioned it before, um, what you see on the screen right now is actually the release dates for this box in Japanese and in English right now. Japanese, yep. of course, this is available right now already. You can head to mm -hmm. the store and buy it. For English, you gotta wait a little bit at around this date, which I can't remember right now. So, um, <laughs> and stuff. Alright, so okay. back here is information. I'll, on the side here, then you see um, some of the new units that you can get, the arts. Yep. You see um, Chrono, Jet, uh, mm -hmm. Chrono Dragon Gear Groovy, the mm -hmm. new that one. Uh, Chrono Tiger Rebellion. Yep. Um, I have no idea what this is. I forgot the name as well. <laughs> and I also don't know what the last one is. Yep. So. <laughs> All right. So let's just open up the box right now. There's sure. nothing left to see. At the bottom, there's nothing. It's just silver. Yep. Like and it. also, uh, as per previous GPT-08, there's no more SP field. So, which is sad, but we understand they want to they want to cut costs. So, anyway. okay, <laughs> right. So, um, the two different builds for for Chrono Jet Dragon and Chrono Fan Tiger, I think so. Uh, uh yep. Yeah. No, actually, there are three different kinds. Um, first of all is the Chrono, Je Chrono Dragon Groove Gear Groovy deck recipe. Uh -huh. The other one is the Chrono Tiger Rebellion. Uh -huh. And lastly, we have the... Whoa, what the, the, is the, the, this? The Dose X Machina one, so... Uh, yeah, Kanzen no Rimidaio. Okay, whatever. Yeah. I believe this would be something that's related to the... Ah, yes. This is the Zodiac Time Beast deck. Uh, basically, it's the, yeah. the Demir deck. So. Yeah. And, right. uh, yeah, according to them, according to Bushy Road, this is the hardest deck to build. Just saying. <laughs> the text is a bit unique, but I don't like it. Alright. So. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, so the pack. Very thick. Very thick, because there's seven cards in there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so more information, the same information that you see here yep. and what you can expect. Correct. So, it's thick. We're going to take some time to open this up, so let's get started. Let's go. We got, we got Chrono of Dragon Next Stage, the single R. We oh. mentioned, but it's a reprint. Every carton should have five in there, I think. So, yeah. Good luck to everybody.
Okay, so we've opened up two boxes worth, so there's like 24 packs and we've got to mention um, that the packs for this round right actually feels thicker than usual. Mm. Actually, when we're holding it, we almost it almost felt like a small brick. And it's like the only other time I felt it was that when I put four foils into one sleeve. Yeah, ah. that's possible. So yeah, and then when you <laughs> when you hold it on it, it feels like a brick, and that's just what you actually feel when you open up one of these when you hold on to one of these packs. Mm. So, but that doesn't mean that you can't feel for anything. So just put it wow. out there. So okay. <laughs> all right. So what do we get? We got these eight and uh, damn it, they can ten. So. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, as mentioned before, we've got um, every single carton comes with, I believe, five copies of a reprinted R version of Chrono Dragon Next Stage. It's very useful for people who want to play a Chrono Jet Dragon deck without paying three hundred dollars for it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So since it's here, we might as well get to the yeah. Since it's here, this yeah. is a special print, so we will actually go through with this one. Yeah. Because it's a reprint of an old card. If you don't know what this card does. Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a uh, Chrono Dragon Next Stage. Mm -hmm. uh, his skill is uh, Counter Blast One, Flip One, uh, Chrono Dragon Next Stage, Face Up. Yep. And then uh, drop three. And then later you choose three cards in your hand and discard them. So yep. that's the cost. So uh, when this unit, at the end of battle, this unit attack the Vanguard. Uh, you have a Chrono Jet Dragon Heart. Mm -hmm. now, take note, Chrono Jet Dragon Heart. Yep. All right. Then you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, for that, uh, then you do. Then move this unit to the G zone, and then choose one with Vanguards and stand it. Yep. So the reason why I emphasize on that is because this does not. If you're thinking about playing this in Chrono Jet Dragon G, you can't make use of his skill because the heart specifically I, says. I hate to burst your bubble, but it actually works because the correct translation for this is if you have a heart card with Chrono Jet Dragon in his name. <laughs> Right, fine, 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 I lose, I lose. My translation skill is not at yours. Sorry la boss. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. Alright, so this is what we got, but um, we were hoping to get like Gear Groovy or Chrono Tiger Rebellion, but yeah. I guess in the two boxes that we opened this, they gave us those two. So we actually have a playable play set of it. And there's supposed to be five in one carton, so we happened to pick the two that had it. Wow! <laughs> Good luck to all you guys out there. Good luck to you guys right there. So, right. So let's go get into the actual force that we get here. So mm -hmm. we start with the easiest one. Alright. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, something something gear tabi. Um, yoru, ni, yoru ni naku gear tabi. Alright. Gear tabi in the night only. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. Um, it's skill is move this card to the soul. When your rear guard um, is put to the bind zone from oh, when this unit is put to the bind zone from the rear guard so go yep correct mm -hmm. if you have a Chrono Fang Vanguard you may pay the cost if you do draw one choose one of your vanguards during a turn plus five k so it's very different from the foil critical triggers that uh, a lot of a lot of clans have gotten so far like say for example Chrono Jet Dragons um. Hard time worker. Yep. This one plays more to the playstyle of Chrono Fang Tiger, which also makes this the the first secondary Ace Vanguard critical trigger. Kind yeah. of, yes, it is actually. It, yeah, it, it is in that regard. So yeah. I mean, the, the skills is the same. It's just that the way that you get it is different because yep. you have to technically. Okay, the easiest way to do it is that you actually time leap this unit. Uh, yes, time leap this unit where you have a Chrono Fang Tiger deck, or basically one of the other skills that allows you to do that. So yeah. Um, so that's unique in their own way, but other than that, it's just your, your generic critical trigger where you draw one and you put and then later your, your Vanguard plus 5k. Yep, that's about it. Lah. Right, so the next one that we have here, I wouldn't need you to. Oh, wait, no, I can read this actually. Because uh, it's in <laughs> Kana, so, <laughs> so I'm able to read. So this is um, Steam. Um, T. T. Oh, no, Steam Tamer. Steam Tamer. Uh, Nani! <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that! <laughs> Nani! Okay, no, basically the name is Steam Tamer Nani, so... Alright, so his skill... His, uh, the first one is the continuous skill in the regard circle. Uh -huh. Alright, so uh, during your turn, if you have a Chrono Fang Venga, um, um, for every card in your bind zone, this unit plus 1k. Oh, okay. Oh wait, we I just realized we have the same hobby. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a Oops. second one. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. Then this yeah, is for every kind of bind zone, this is universal. Alright, then the second skill is from the bind zone. Mm -hmm. Alright, so GB1. So the cost is so plus one. So if you have a Chrono Fang, great four or higher. Uh, okay, no. Uh, when this, uh, when you have. At the end of the battle, <laughs> I read very slowly. Yeah. Alright. At the end of the battle, that your great four uh, Chrono Fang. Uh, Vanguard 
attacks. Attacks. At the end of the battle that you're gonna that you grip for a uh, Codify uh, attacks, you may pay the cost, which is so much fun. If you do, uh call this unit to Brigade Circle. Yep. So basically it's like you can play around with him being in the, the bind zone, then after that you can come back, mm. and then you can set him bind zone, you can come back on his own. Yep. Basically it's an upgrade from the one that we had in O mm. seven. I was like to point out he's wearing the Exxon wear headphones. Nah, just kidding. But Nani! he looks like a cat. Nani! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, enough with that joke, so. Alright, All right, so. so next, where are we gonna go? This way. So. Okay. So the next one is um, Interdimensional Beast Pandora Chimera. Uh huh. So this guy's skill is. Mm -hmm. Counter Blast 1, when this unit appears on the Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose uh, your opponent chooses one card, uh, one unit from his back row and send it to the bottom of the deck. Oh, this one. Yes. <laughs> it's that one, isn't it? Yes, it's that one. Uh, so okay. it plays similarly to Den Denial Griffin, but instead of choosing your opponent's rear guards, your opponent chooses a rear guard. Okay. Which will be pointless if they don't play boosters. <laughs> In a way, <laughs> so right. on them, uh. anyway. Okay, so the next one is uh, it's a perfect, it's a sentinel, so mm -hmm. yeah, actually, it's a perfect gun. So, all right, so uh, this is um, steam, um, key, mm -hmm. keep, oh, steam keeper, mm. right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the keeper, yeah, it's the really keeper. Oh, steam keeper, right? Oh, oh, rabashim, all right, steam keeper, rabashim, move, move, <laughs> rabashim, move. Okay. Alright, so it's a sentinel. Alright, so then uh, base, because the sentinel is actually a perfect guard, so um, when this unit appears in the garden circle from hand, you can discard one card. If you do, then the unit that's being attacked. Uh, no, just uh, the vanguard that's being attacked, and for the battle, that unit cannot be hit. Okay. Right. But its third skill is um, if this unit. Uh, uh, okay. Um, if this unit appears. In the in the regard circle from the deck by a time leap ability, mm -hmm. you may pay the cost, which is uh, just one card from your hand and discard it. Uh, if you do, add this card to your hand. Oh, okay, it's that kind. So you can fetch this through time leap and then you can add a PG to your hand. So by discarding one card from your hand, that's kind of game changing if you ask me. Uh, no, it's not game changing. It's just more direct than the others. Yeah, but than the other ways. Also. There are so many ways to call triggers out. You can use Melem, you can use um, whatsoever. Uh, and this comes like. I mean, I mean, the point being is that this is the most. E what I'm saying is that this is the most easiest way to fetch a uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Among all the ones that has been released thus far. Mm. Yep, I, I feel like so. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next one that we have down here now, this is the other one that yep. is the other one that that, that messed up everything for yep. for Yuzu. So this is interdimensional dragon, um, hetero, mm, hetero rao. Hetero round dragon. Yes, thank you. Alright, so its skill is so plus one, that's the cost. So when this unit appears in the garden circle, if you have a Chrono Jack Vanguard, uh, you may pay the cost. If you do, um, choose one of your opponent's regards mm -hmm. and uh, return it to their deck. Return it uh, return the, the, to the deck. So then shuffle the deck, then your opponent uh, reveals the top card and call it to the regard circle. Yep. So this is the one that, that, that screwed up the, the shuffle, the perfect future that is uh, yeah. Triple Crits in his face. So Yes. <laughs> <laughs> triple Criticals in his face. From the, How so nice. <laughs> very, very nice. There's not much to say. It's um, a nice one for specific Golden Jet Dragon. Mm -hmm. Right. Next. The next one is... Go ahead, Okay. Um, this is Pros Bashir Idea Drone. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But anyway, um, his skill is... Uh, once per turn, it's a Vanguard skill, GB2. So Blast 1, choose... Um, a grade 2 and below. A grade 2 and below Guardian. And bind it face up. Huh? During your opponent's Vanguard's attack... Uh, when your opponent's Vanguard attacks during the battle, mm -hmm. um, when your unit appears in the Guardian's circle... You yeah, when, you, when your unit put, is put to the Guardian's circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, during that battle, this unit plus 15k. Holy cow! Okay. Alright, we'll move on next first. Uh, his other skill is GB1, counter blast 1, choose one card from your drop zone and bind it face up. At the end of your turn, you may pay the cost. If you do, soul charge 1, choose one of your rear guards and bind it face up. If you bind, your opponent chooses one card, uh, one rear guard and, bind, uh, and put it to the bottom of the deck. Hey! Hey! Plus 15k if you soul blast 1 and you uh, uh, to guardian and... Wow. Okay. If anything, this is meant to feed for the for the Zodiac Time Beast. Yeah, but even so, this is... 
plus what? 15k instant 26k this I hate to say this this puts Gavro to shame much shame <laughs> oh. who thought it was a no, at least it's once per turn. At least it's once per yeah, turn. That's once the saving grace. Yeah, that, thank goodness, but still. <laughs> have fun trying to attack a 26k with your 7k. But anyway, we digress. Yeah, right. we totally digress. So, alright. Uh, the next card that I have right here in my hand, this is. Um, Ephem. Ephemer. Uh, ephemeral? If, okay. Ephemeral something. Ephemeral Wand Dragon. Aha, uh -huh, that card. Alright, so this skill is also a GB. It has a GB2 skill. Holy hell. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, GB2 skill on the Vagrant Circle. Vagrant Circle. The cost is. Um, so Blast 1. And then you choose. Oh, this is for Chronos Command. Okay. Yep. Then uh, flip over one um, G unit with Chronos Command in his name. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, when this unit uh, attacks or is being attacked, mm. you may pay the cost. If you do, for the battle, um, this unit plus 10k. Yep. So basically, while you're being attacked or when you are attacking, mm. uh, then you can flip over one. You can so plus one and flip over one Chronos Command and you can plus 10k. 10k. So this one 21. Yep. Just for that battle only, so it, it doesn't stick. So, mm. right. So, um, and the other one also doesn't stick. Also, by the by the No, that one. No, for the battle. Yeah, for it doesn't battle, yeah, it's stick. Also, just battle. Battle. Okay, moving yeah. on. <laughs> um, then the second skill is um. All right. So choose. Okay. So choose. Uh. So basically, flip over one unit in the G zone. Mm -hmm. One unit face up in the G zone. All right. So, uh, during your turn. If your G unit with Chronos Command in its original name strikes, mm -hmm. you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Vanguards and that unit plus 10k. So yep. I think people are dubbing this as the um, um, the strike break, right? Break strike. Break strike, yes. Break strike, yes. People are referring to break strike because of the fact that you can choose your Vanguard and then plus 10k. Yeah, but I would prefer not to call it that because break strike sounds like. I don't know, it just doesn't fit in well. Mm -hmm. As well as Bray Wright does, so mm -hmm. by the way, that's a topic for another time. <laughs> yeah. Next, what do we you have? You know what really grinds my ring? My job. That's your job, right? So, alright, the, the second last unit that we have here, mm -hmm. alright, so um, this is um, D Ray. Delayed something. D Ray. Oh, oh Delayed Buster. Boo. No, Boo. Boo. Delayed Prey. Delayed Blazer Dragon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Delayed Blazer Dragon. So I think this was this was the one that we that, that was in anime that we didn't know what the, the picture was. Anyway, uh, yeah. um, this unit skill uh, from the Regard Circle. So uh, when another unit appears from the deck to the Regard Circle by time leap ability, then you have a Chrono Jet Drag if you have a Chrono Jet Vanguard, uh, for the turn this unit plus 2k. So every time that you perform basically every time you perform time leap, mm. uh, then this unit plus 2k and you can have it right. stack up as high as possible. Mm. Right. Its second skill is GB1, so uh, time leap. Uh, when this unit appears in the regard circle, you have a Chrono Jet Vanguard. Chrono Jet, no, if you have a level 4 uh, Chrono Jet Vanguard, mm -hmm. uh, choose a great choose a great 2 uh, regard and time leap it. Mm. It specifically says great 2 regard, so if you don't believe me, you can check it. So, mm -hmm. it specifically says, so that is kind of yeah, weird in that way because you have to time leap another one, two, three. Mm -hmm. But it make but now the the if you haven't seen the the uh, our unboxing video for um uh for the the Zodiac Time Beast deck the one that that Kodo is using in the the G, um you understand why this thing in might be why that and and one of the units in there might go together. So mm. anyway, right the last one that we have, <laughs> the last one they have is uh Diabelno Diabelno Idea Drone. Mm -hmm. Just rolls off your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's a rear guard skill, Cannon Blast 1, um, and bind the top card of your deck. So when this uh, when your unit when this unit attack, attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Gear Colossus Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do it during the battle, this unit plus 2k and uh, the skill when uh, if the attack hits the Vanguard, look at up to two cards let's search for up to two cards from your deck. Um, choose one of them and bind it face up and the other to the drop zone and shuffle your deck. Then if the bind card if the card bound by this effect is a twelve uh, Zodiac Time Beast, counter charge one. Okay. Yeah, so this is an, again a feeder for the, the Zodiac Time Beast. Yeah, so it's supposed to combo off with Demigod, which we don't have here. So yeah. Uh, and to play that as the, the finishing blow, so mm. Mm -hmm. No pun to the Narukami, so <laughs> <laughs> I hear someone very triggered right now. <laughs> His name starts with L. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right, so this is the one that we came up uh, that we've managed to unbox from the um, the two um, 
gear of fate boxes mm -hmm. and luckily or unluckily enough we got to Corona Dragon next stage, so that's yep. gonna be fun to play with or okay. have fun around. One with. for you, one for me. One for you. <laughs> no, we do the work, so. <laughs> oh, okay, then two for someone. <laughs> two for someone, also. Right, so um, that's all that we have for you today. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and uh, good luck with your own boxes as well. Hope you guys get good um, stuff as well. Yep. And um, yeah, so if you like to see um, like all of this stuff in work, um, it's gonna be, take a bit of time because um, we need to build up the deck. We also need to get some practice with it, but we will get you the updated builds for Chrono Fang Tiger. Um, Chrono Jet Dragon from this box and maybe if we can we can also get in um, Demigod if we actually manage yeah. to find it as well correct right so we'll get you those fights as soon as we can um, we'll try not to do mirror fights but from the looks of it I think we have to do it because it's a plot fight so we have Part to do it one plot uh, <laughs> but anyways you will anyways um, you will see uh, these uh, cards in action sooner or later yeah right so uh, with that said thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed um, the unboxing video if you see here and uh, do subscribe to us here at Crossroad Vanguard mm -hmm. and they say them also follow us on all our socials where Crossroad Vanguard uh, on Facebook where at, uh, on Twitter at Crossroad VGS and we also have a blog crossroadvanguard.wordpress.com yep it's a mouthful <laughs> but basically, um, but basically on the blog you can actually see uh, some of the stuff. We might even actually put up um, uh, advanced thoughts as well about the about this um, thing. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. also, but do check out our blog. We have more content on that stuff. You can do on video. We put it on the blog. Yeah, and such. So and also, if you see this uh, crossbow mega mat that you see here, uh, if you'd like to get your hands on one of these, um, not just yet, right now, but do uh, so do consider supporting us on Patreon, uh, where you can actually um, see. You can actually support us directly, even further than than, than the subs that, that, that you provided thus far, or maybe the views as well. Um, but through there, you'll be able to see we are in the midst of rebooting the, the Patreon, so we're going to get uh, better rewards, uh, stuff that, that if you want to get it, you, if we think that we want to get it, then we believe that you guys will want to as well. So do check out our Patreon and uh, keep it up to date as well. So yeah. also on the rest of socials to keep up to date with everything that we do here in Crossroad Vegas. Right. So, uh, with that um, messy outro, uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye! And also check out this video as well. <laughs>